there's a YouTuber that goes by what is his name and what is his son's name, and he's basically calling me a bug out and saying I'm crazy because I don't believe that it's right that a man's going to return, claim to be God, and kill innocent people just because they aren't Jewish. And also, he basically is trying to say that I'm wrong because I don't believe little green man plays a role in biblical prophecy. What does UFOs got to do with biblical prophecy, people? I'm going to bug out because I don't believe UFOs play a role in prophecy. There's no evidence to UFOs. There's no evidence that there's a man who sits in the sky who's going to return in a UFO, kill two-thirds of the world, and then claim that he is the Messiah. There's no evidence to that. You're only reading it in the scriptures. No one has ever seen a physical Jesus. No one has ever seen Jesus in a physical form in the 21st century. So how are you going to tell me that I'm wrong? Until you have evidence for your for your for your Yahweh Shai, prove to me how I'm wrong. You cannot prove that Yahweh Shai is real. No one has seen Yahweh Shai in over two thousand years, and you're telling me that he's going to return? Uh, first y'all said it was two thousand and one. When that didn't happen, y'all switched it to, to, to twenty twenty. When, when y'all said that, um. The, the 400 years was up. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> wow. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukakwadash. <clears throat> Excuse me. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone and brothers on down the line. <laughs> oh, man. That I learned from daily. And a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work. In truth and sincerity. You know, like this brother. Amawan. Uh, Amawan Abad. 777. You know. <laughs> oh, boy, man. You want to talk about there is some clear cut bug outs out there, man. Straight up. Okay. So you heard the things that this guy had to say. He was. He even went into a, a little green men. I can, you, you can't make this stuff up, man. So this is going to be just a quick lesson. All right, so l let's listen again. Hello. There is a YouTuber that goes by what is his name and what is his son's name, and he is basically calling me a bug out and saying I'm crazy because I don't believe that it's right that a man's going to return, claim to be God, and kill innocent people. All right. So lock it for that. So he said, <laughs> oh, you can't make this up. He said, because he don't believe that God is going to come back and kill innocent people. Well, let's read this. This is Job 7, uh, Salakia, 4 and verse 7. Remember, I pray thee, who, whoever perish being innocent, or where was the righteous cut off? Okay? Salakia. Oh, boy. Got another one here. This is going to be a quick lesson. It's just, I, I had to do it. Exodus 15, verse 3. The Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. Okay? He's what? He's a man of war. Anybody perish being an innocent? You know? Uh, I, I suppose this bug out has uh, completely forgotten about what happened to the children of Israel. Not the Ish people. Not the 1948ers. I don't know what's in his mind. Completely bugged out, man. Completely bugged out. Okay? Zephaniah 1 verse 8 and it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's Yahweh's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel okay he shall do what punish them and and and, and what in his sacrifice man because uh, uh you know uh ultimately this place Babylon is going to be a sacrifice OK, it's going to get burned all the way up to the very last compound, man. OK, let's go here. Obadiah, one of verse eight. This is like, again, this is going to be a quick lesson. This dude is completely bugged out. Because they aren't Jewish. Because they are. <laughs> wow. Woo. Woo hoo. Obadiah, one verse eight. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh, even destroy the wise men out of Edom and understanding out of the Mount of Esau. OK. Verse 9, and thy mighty men, O Timon, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. 
Shall I read that again? Let's do it. Verse 9. And thy mighty men, O Timon, shall be dismayed to the end that every one of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. He don't believe that God's going to come back and kill innocent people. But Job 4 verse 7 said that anybody perish being innocent. Verse, oh boy, verse 10, for the violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee and thou shalt be cut off forever. In the day that thou stoodest on the other side, in the day that the strangers carried away captive his forces and foreigners entered into his gates and cast lots upon Jerusalem. Even thou was was as one of them. OK. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's keep going. And also, he basically is trying to say that I'm wrong because I don't believe little green man plays a role in biblical prophecy. What does you Let's go back. And also, he basically is trying to say that I'm wrong because I don't believe little oh. green man plays a role in biblical prophecy. What does UFOs got to do with biblical prophecy, people? Okay, so he says, what does UFOs got to do with biblical prophecy, people? First and foremost, they're not UFOs. They are chariots, okay? And it has a whole lot to do with biblical prophecy. That's how the Israelites are, are going to get saved. You see? This is a simple one. Second Peter 3, verse 10. <laughs> but in the day... Of the, uh, of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom. But he don't believe God is going to come back and kill innocent people. Hmm. OK. With a great noise. Salakia. Hey, chill out. I'm trying to get this lesson in. Do you understand me? Thank you. OK. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the earth also in the works that are there, uh, so lucky in the works that are therein shall be burned up. Well, how, well how's he going to do that? It's not going to be little green men. It's not going to be this. It's no, 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 it's not that. It's not that. OK, it's not that. And it definitely isn't that. All right. <laughs> this dude's bugged completely out, man. All right, so let's see that. He doesn't believe that UFOs even exist. Show me proof. Show me proof. Hey, over my house every night, there's angels in camp round about us. See, the just shall live by faith. Jeremiah 4, verse 13. Behold, he shall come up as clouds and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are swifter than eagles. Woo! His horses are swifter than eagles. And who exhausts himself as the eagle? Hmm? Okay. Woe well unto us, for we are spoiled. All right? Let's keep going. What does this say? Isaiah 26, verse 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut the doors about thee. Hide them, hide them uh, thyself. As it were for a little while, while the indignation pass. Uh oh, what's that indignation? Is that innocent people being killed? Is that weeping and gnashing of teeth? Is that uh, the, their faces shall be as flames? Huh? Is that what that's talking about? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I do. Revelation one verse seven. And these are just milk scriptures. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all and, and he and, and what also which pierced him. I, I bet you he don't believe in the regeneration either. The scripture says, though, who follow me in the regeneration. OK, third and fourth uh, upon the third and fourth generation. See, Revelation one, verse seven. Behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him. And they also which pierced him and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so. Amen. All right. This dude is completely, completely bugged out. Let's go to Revelation 11 and verse. He even goes into uh, the, what talking about some 400 year prophecy that happened in Egypt, bruh. Ock. OK, come on, man. Revelation 12, uh, 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 11 verse 12. 
and they heard a great voice from heaven saying, this is what is it talking about? And they heard a great voice from heaven saying, uh, saying upon them, come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them, you know. So he might be one of the ones looking up saying, oh, my, my, maybe I was wrong. You see? Completely bugged out. Let's go here. I'm a bug out because I don't believe UFOs play a role in prophecy. There's no evidence to UFOs. There's no evidence that there's a man who sits in the sky who's going to return in a UFO. There is all kinds of evidence. Brothers out there on the highways. And that's another thing. You see him out there on the highways and byways? Uh-uh. Okay. All right. Brothers on the highways and byways uh, capture them all the... Don't you do that. Capture them all the time. See? Capture them all the time. I capture them all the time. Constantly. Almost every night. Okay? But see, again, the just shall live by faith, man. What you have here is a spiritless... Uh, uh, bug out, man. A spiritless bug out. Yahweh Bashim Shai has blinded the eyes. He, he's blinded his eyes completely. Kill two thirds of the world and then claim that he is the. Kill two thirds of what world? He said he's going to kill two thirds of Israelites. Two thirds, as the brother says, right? He said he's going to kill two thirds of his own people. Why? Because they won't listen. Okay? And it seems to me like you may be in uh, in that classification, Ock. Okay, bug out, man. There's no evidence to that. You only read it in the scriptures. No one has ever seen a physical Jesus. Whoa. No one has ever seen Jesus in a physical form in the 21st century. Oh boy, Revelation one verse one. No one has ever seen in the in the 21st century. Well, you know that's why the just shall live by faith. OK, he has given us the eyes and the understanding to know that he that he's coming back and we know we know what he looks like. You know, uh, 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 I mean, no, not all the way what he looks like, you know, not facial features and all that. But he, uh, he what, let's just read it. Revelation one, verse one, the revelation of Hamashiach Yahushai, which the Most High gave unto him who John to show unto his servants things must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, John. Okay. Verse two, who bear a record of the word of the Most High and of the testimony of Hamashiach Yahushua and of all things that he saw. Okay. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words that do what? That hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. OK, you know, got to be careful about what you think and what you believe. Again, Yahweh Shem Shah has manifested his name. OK, and he has given the understanding to his prophets. And that's that. Yahweh Rat Nazam a part of that number. Blesses he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. OK. All right. Nobody's seen him in the 21st century. Let's go here. Let's go here. What does this say? Daniel 10 and verse five. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold. A certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with the fine gold of Euphas. Okay. Verse six, his body. He said, what? I lifted up my eyes and, and did what? I lifted up my eyes and behold, a certain man clothed in linen with whose uh, loins were girded with fine gold of Euphas. Okay. Verse six, his body was also like the barrel. Okay. He had on a green garment and his face is as the appearance of lightning and his eyes is as lamps of fire. And his arms and feet, because he saw him like in color to polish brass and the voice of his words, like the voice of a multitude, man. I, Daniel, alone saw this vision for the men that were with me saw not the vision. 
but a great uh, quake, uh, quakening, Salakia, fell upon them so that they fled to hide themselves, man. Okay? So this this guy. So this guy. YouTuber that goes by what is his name and what is his son's name. And this guy, man. You, you got to be kidding me. Oh, okay. It, it jumped on me. So let's see what we have here. There we go. There's a YouTuber that this goes guy by is what is his name and what is out. his son's He's name. And he is basically calling me a bug out and saying I'm crazy because I don't believe that it's right. Anyway, I just, I just had to make that quick lesson, man. You know, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. This one true doctrine, okay? One true doctrine, one body. That's it. That's all it is. All right? Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash, man. Foolish and unlearned, vain babblings. <laughs> oh, wah ba ba ba. Boom! Shalom.